Hi guys, it's me Farah Panda And guys, it's been ages guys, it's been ages guys When once I started my YouTube channel, I started doing cooking and it's been ages since then It looks like I'm rocking today my makeup Anyway guys, um, it's been ages like I said and in this video as you can see from the title below I will be making some chicken pasta and this is the Asian style, Southeastern Asian style that is. So yeah guys, I'm just going to quickly rush into this video and show you guys what ingredients you need to make this dish. Okay guys, the first ingredient that we need is of course some chicken and I'm using some boneless chicken that I got from Asta and um, yeah it's a whole chicken and it's not boneless I'll take that back it's not boneless <laughs> well some pieces got bone and some haven't but whatever it is you can use bone or boneless in this recipe I'm using both apparently <laughs> but um, the spices that I have is the five main Asian spices that you have in literally all of the Indian dishes so let's go from here to here so this is paprika turmeric garam masala jeera and coriander powder need some salt I'm using some sea salt you know what guys I forgot to tell you guys in this container is some chili powder and that's very very important as well in this dish I've got some guys some parsley that I will garnish at the end and I've got my garlic and ginger paste guys also guys you need some pasta I'm using this paneer so guys I have showed you all of the ingredients and yes guys let's get cooking okay guys i've got my pot here right here and i've got my pasta and you can use as much pasta or as little pasta as you want i'm just going to use a little bit this is just my children i need okay so i'm using half of the bag and what i have got here i've got my jug of water and i'm just gonna pour it on top What I'm going to be using next is my sea salt I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that inside so what's going to happen now is that I am going to put it on high and I'm going to boil this off you can see my pasta in there I'm going to boil this and then I'm just going to drain it off and leave it to one side okay guys I've made my pasta and I put it to one side and um, I'll just quickly show you guys it's really hot so this is my pasta it's all done and I'm just gonna put that on one side and now what I'm gonna do is, is add any kind of um, oil I'm using some <laughs> vegetable oil and I'm just just mixing it and spreading it across the here the sizzle that's going on what I'm gonna do is put in some garlic and ginger paste and this is gonna be half of a tablespoon now I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit like that I do apologize guys that I couldn't really raise my uh, camera more higher so you can actually see in there so I have to keep tilting it towards the camera garlic and ginger paste they don't really take long to cook it takes less than 20 seconds so what I'm going to do I'm going to take in my cut up chicken bone pieces and slap it in right like that <laughs> I'm going to put the heat a little bit up to medium to high and I'm just going to Toss it around for a few minutes so all the ginger and garlic paste can be all over the chicken. So I'm just going to place the lid on top and that will help 
the pieces to become more white and then I'll toss it for a bit and then we'll add our spices so okay guys I've took off my lid and you can see it's semi kind of white the pieces it's okay what I'm gonna do now is add my spices in so I'm gonna start off first of all actually I'm gonna put down the heat too low I'm gonna add my coriander powder so that's one heap tablespoon of coriander powder I love coriander powder it has a very very sweet smell to it I'm gonna add my jeera powder this is uh, a quarter of a tablespoon of jeera you don't want to add too much because it has a pungent taste and it's very overpowering as well <laughs> I'm going to add guys next is my paprika I love paprika I love the smell to it and the taste is fabulous and it gives colour so one heap tablespoon of paprika powder like literally in any Bangladeshi cooking you must have paprika powder and in Indian cuisine as well okay so next one is the garam masala and again one quarter of a tablespoon of garam masala I'm gonna add a pinch of turmeric don't add too much because if you add too much it'll change the color In my opinion if you add too much turmeric it's not only changes the color it just adds it'll be it makes it a little bit oily and thick for some reason I don't know why I'm gonna add my chili powder now it's up to you how much chili powder you want to add I'm gonna add a quarter of a tablespoon because my kids are having it and um, they like a little bit of a kick and lastly I'm gonna add some salt I should add that at the beginning but oh well I'm gonna try and add uh, a tablespoon of salt now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix this all up you can see it's getting nice now it's changing the color and yum 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 <laughs> my favorite word num nums <laughs> oh. and the smell is just delicious so that's basically it you can see that and it's mixed in perfectly what I'm going to do is put the lid back on and I'm going to put it onto a medium high and I'm going to let its own juices come out before I add water and I've noticed in YouTube many people they just throw in the water I mean you can do that, that's great but I'd rather have the juice come out first and then add little bits of water so if you pour too much water in you lose the flavour of the, of the chicken actual juices so yeah, what I'm going to do you just wait until the juices come out and then we'll go to the next step okay guys I have left this on for 20 minutes and look at that look at that I don't know if you can see I'm just gonna tilt it you can see the actual juices has come out I don't think you can see it let me just lift it up so yeah you can see the juices has come out and that's perfect so I'm just going to toss this around and yeah I put the heat on low guys so that's why it's come out the juices what I'm going to do I'm going to add a little bit of water to add it that's a dash <laughs> don't add too much to lose the flavour that's already come from the juices and yeah guys I'm just gonna let it cook on low heat now next 25 minutes or so until the bones and the chicken actually cooked and you can tell by poking a fork in there to see if it's cooked or not so I'm just putting the lid back on guys and yeah I'll come back after 20 to 25 minutes okay guys it's been more than 25 minutes it's been like 35 to 40 minutes I had to cook it a little bit longer because I have an electric cooker and obviously to get it soft as possible the chicken I wanted to cook it a little bit extra so yeah guys I'm just taking off the lid now 
and the if you can see yeah the actual sauce or gravy has been reduced down and that's what we want you got the actual uh, you can see around the edge the oil has come to the top so how do you check guys that the chicken is done so my main tip is get a spoon and just poke it with a spoon and if the chicken comes off the bone like it has right now I don't know if you can see it's right there it's it's come off the bone really really nicely then you know it's been cooked and final step actually is the pasta so here's the pasta guys I'm gonna pour that in now so this one now. okay guys that's what we're gonna be doing next is to take my wooden spoon and mix so we're mixing and mixing and mixing guys until everything is in like mixed up what you can do guys as you're mixing it is add the final thing and that's the garnish so you can either add coriander and that would be the best thing to do but as I've got no coriander it's gonna be parsley and you can add other herbs if you want and I think what I'll be doing is mixing it and then pouring it in sprinkling it in that's what I meant to say in all of it Okay, what I'm gonna do now, as it's mixed nicely, I'm just gonna put on my lid back on. Well, this is a small lid. Where's the bigger one? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna add that big lid here on and I'll put it on to low, so low heat, guys. And what I'll be doing is letting it to cook for the next five to seven minutes. So it should be it should be done. Okay, guys. It has been five minutes approximately, and what I'll be doing now is to open the lid wow i'm just gonna get the camera forward so you get to see it so that's how it's looking guys looking fabulous and delicious the wooden spoon and just give it a nice toss again oh god that looks absolutely delish look at that <laughs> I'll be loving that. Me and my two kids will be eating chomp chomp chomp. So yeah guys, that is the end result. And what I'll be doing is I'm dying. I'm just gonna open this and grab my handy dandy fork and I'm just gonna have a taste. Now I can taste the pasta but I'll taste it both together, the pasta and the chicken. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. It's flaky. The chicken is. Look at that. It just came off the bone. So I'm just going to pick some pasta up. So there. And say bismillah and eat it. Mmm. Right now, guys, I'm doing my happy dance. Yum. Oh my god. The chicken is so flaky. Look at that. Mmm. So yeah guys, that's the end result. So okay guys, that was everything that I done to make this dish. I hope you liked this video guys as I love to cook and I love to show you guys how I make my dishes. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe uh, below and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications and yeah guys i will see you next time it's me farah fanda saying bye